So it's a, a great pleasure for me to represent my master's research, uh, which is a therapeutic rule of the bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells and Schwann cells and their co-transplantation and regeneration of the injured sciatic nerve in rats. We will start by the, uh, to demonstrate the effect of peripheral nerve injuries, which have a devastating and <coughs> a great impact on the patient's quality of life. As we know, in the American, about 20 million Americans suffer from peripheral nerve injuries, uh, which have um, a great impact econo economically, which, about, uh, which uh, um, cause uh, about approximately one and five and fifty billion dollars uh, spent annually for medical care. Uh, as we know, <coughs> peripheral nerve injuries caused either by um, demyelination or uh, uh, degeneration of the axons, or both of them which lead to disruption of the sensory function and the motor function and lead to uh, muscle dysfunction and atrophy. <clears throat> the classical surgical treatment of peripheral nerve injuries is delayed after three months because early surgical intervention slow the spontaneous regeneration of the nerve and may induce more injury <coughs> to the neural tissue. We will uh, give a brief uh, summary about the pathophysiological uh, sequences or cascades which occurs in the peripheral nerve injuries. Maybe the other one. There's two on there. One doesn't work. Okay. And we imagine that the site of the injury, which site of the injury here in the peripheral nerve injury in the peripheral nerve, uh, we will get two stumps: the proximal stump and the distal stump. In the proximal stump, there is retrograde transport uh, from which uh, release a, a vasoactive peptide, which is called calcitonin gene-related peptide, uh, which causes hyperemia and maintain neuropathic pain. Then the other, uh, the other one is a distal stump in which the uh, axo um, anterograde transport from which the uh, Schwann cells and the macrophages and other inflammatory cells release uh, cytokines and other mediators which cause the inflammatory process which occurs in the peripheral nerve. We will talk here about the most important uh, two types of cells which have a great effect in the uh, 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 regeneration process uh, of the peripheral nerve injury, the Schwann cells and the macrophages. Let's talk about, firstly, by the macrophages. We have in the peripheral nerve two types of macrophages, recruited and, uh, recruited and resident uh, macrophages. The resident macrophages <coughs> represent about 4% of the population in the neural cellular, uh, uh, in the neural cellular uh, population in the peripheral nerve, and uh, uh, which is hyperactively respond to the peripheral nerve. And the other one is the recruited uh, macrophages, uh, which is uh, uh, attracted to the site of the injury by the chemo-attractant uh, chemo uh, uh, mediators released by the Schwann cells and other inflammatory cells. <coughs> the macrophages also have a great effect in the housekeeping. Uh, we know, uh, firstly, uh, the, degener uh, the degeneration process occurs, which uh, precedes the regenerative process. Uh, macrophages um, infiltrate the pans of Magner, which is tube-like structure of the Schwann cells, um, uh, form of immature Schwann cells. <coughs> they infiltrate these tubes, infiltrate these tubes to degenerate the myelin and uh, remove the diff the differs, uh, and from uh, the rem and during this removal or this housekeeping uh, process, uh, uh, there is Schwann cell mitogenes released. And, um, and other mediators, sorry. How can I escape? Okay. Um, 
release of mitosh uh, and, uh, and, uh, and inhibit other myelin associated proteins like myelin associated glycoprotein, which inhibit uh, growth, uh, of il, uh, uh, the growth of neurons. Uh, let's talk now about, uh, uh, sorry, uh, macrophage also had an effect uh, by releasing apolipoprotein A, which is a scavenger of lipids uh, that released from the removal of the depress and re-delivers them to the Schwann cells to reuse the lipids in the formation of the myelin during the regenerative process. Uh, then we will talk about the Schwann cells and its role in the regeneration of the peripheral nerve injuries. We, as we know, uh, uh, there are two types of Schwann cells, myelinating and myelinating Schwann cells. Uh, in response to the peripheral nerve injury, uh, there is a de-differentiation process occurs uh, that will uh, uh, de-differentiate Schwann cells from mature Schwann cells to immature Schwann cells. The immature Schwann cells proliferate and give us that which is called pans of Magner. Pans of Magner have a great effect in, um, to prevent the misdirection, uh, the misdirection of the axons uh, uh, during the regenerative process. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, the immature cells release growth factors which uh, uh, induce uh, or push the sprouts to grow uh, to the site of a tissue injury. Uh, also, Schwann cells release neurotrophic factors like brain drive the brain drive neurotrophic factor and the neurotrophic factor, which have a great effect uh, on induction of a regeneration in the peripheral nerves. Uh, also, uh, if we talk about uh, the de-differentiation which occurs in the Schwann cells, which is induced by um, cytokine uh, uh, called metalloproteinase 9, which is uh, activate, which activates uh, pathway called RFK, MEK, uh, uh, ERK uh, pathway, uh, and also uh, Schwann cells. Um, uh, and mat the mature Schwann cells have uh, um, anti-apoptotic effect by releasing uh, growth factors like anthony uh, like growth factor and uh, platelet-derived growth factor BB and the neurotrophin 3. As we shown in the step 3, uh, there is a sprouting and uh, the direction of the sprout to the site of tissue injury. So the pans of Magner here prevent in mis the misdirection of the axonal growth uh, during a regenerative process. And finally, uh, the, the axon continues to grow into the distal sun and is enfolded by Schwann cells. So the recent studies are redirected towards stem cells and Schwann cells to uh, repair the injured peripheral nerve. Uh, as talked previously, Schwann cells had a fundamental role in the regeneration of the peripheral nerve injuries and stem cells due to their plasticity and their potentiality to rescue and replenish the degenerated neurons as well as to manipulate the microenvironment of the neurons during regeneration. As we know, stem cells have agreed, uh, have a immunosuppressive and immunomodulatory effect as uh, stem cells uh, doesn't express uh, a major histocontability complex too, so we can uh, 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 we can uh, uh, use allogenic transplantation without using immunosuppression. And their plasticity to give uh, all the lineages, three lineage of mesodermal or origin, like uh, uh, mesodermal origin uh, included uh, in neurogenic uh, uh, um, regeneration. So our experiment uh, is to uh, Elucidates the effect of stem cells and Schwann cells uh, practically uh, in uh, in animals. In the animals, we have uh, uh, five groups. Uh, each group contains ten alpino rats, aged 12 weeks, and weighted about 120 to 150 gram. They are classified into five groups. Firstly, the normal group and the injured group, which is uh, injected by the normal saline. Third group, Schwann cells, uh, which is uh, treated by 300,000 uh, Schwann cells, and uh, bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell group, which uh, injected by 300,000 cells. <coughs> and finally, 
uh, we have a group co-transplanted to show and elucidate the synergistic effect of Schwann cells and bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells in the repair of peripheral nerve injuries. We start by the labeling and isolation of the transplanted cells. We use promodeoxyuridine as labeling of the cells. Uh, uh, we um, uh, uh, put 10 milligram per milliliter solution of PR June trial, Dolpicus uh, phosphate buffer saline is provided for in vivo use and injected intraperitoneally, intraperitoneally with one to two solution milligram of PR June. Um, PRG uh, 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 labels the cells by replace thymidine during the proliferation of the cells. Instead of uh, using the thymidine, we use uridine to detect uh, the labeled cells during its homing and its effect in the regeneration. <clears throat> Secondary, isolation of the swan cells. <laughs> Sorry. We will remove, firstly, we remove the epinerium from the sciatic nerve uh, to, uh, uh, to facilitate the effect of, um, of the enzymes to uh, get Schwann cells more easily. Then we cut the nerve tissue into small pieces to facilitate also the effect, the enzymatic reaction on, uh, to get uh, uh, easily the Schwann cells. Step three, we incubate uh, after the process of, uh, of cutting and, uh, and the isolation of the epinerium, we incubate uh, the cells in the enzymatic mixture for about 18 hours. Then we triturate the nervous tissue by different coaches. We start by uh, 70 uh, till uh, by uh, 24 till 17 or 18 coaches. This, this is a photo uh, is taken under the microscope after the trituration. Still need more trituration and more incubation in the enzymatic in the enzyme enzymatic mixture to uh, uh, enhance or to facilitate uh, the uptake and the pickup of Schwann cells. After trypsinization, uh, we do positive selection of Schwann cells by use magnetic separation. Uh, using P75 uh, as a marker of the Schwann cells to uh, get rid of uh, fibroblasts. This is a photo taken by under the microscope, uh, the onion shape of the Schwann cells. Uh, we talk about isolation of bone marrow stem cells. We obtain them from high levels of rats under strict strike conditions and then put them in a strike conditions and uh, centrifuge after uh, flushing of the cells from the bone marrow, we put it, uh, we centrifuge several times to uh, rid of the, get rid of the uh, supernatant. Then we put it in a complete culture media in a conventional environment, a 5% uh, humidified uh, environment and uh, about 5% uh, uh, CO2 incubation. Cells were obtained after frequent change in the medium and get rid of the, of the non-adherent cells. This is a photo taken under the microscope and show the, the fibroblast-like cells, which is indication of the bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells. How to induce sciatic nerve injury, as shown. This is a sciatic nerve in the red. We use this tool for induction of the nerve injury. Uh, this is a um, figure shown uh, the uh, histological uh, structure of the uh, peripheral nerve. Uh, we have endoneurium, which is a very delicate connective tissue uh, lining uh, the axon, uh, the axon, the myelin axon of the uh, the myelin sheath of the axon of the nerve axon, and then the perineurium, uh, which is, which um, uh, lining a, a group or bundle of nerve axons. And we get, uh, then uh, there are two, uh, there are uh, epineurium, which has two interface, external and internal epineurium, which is a tough connective tissue. And we uh, rid of, get rid of, of this uh, epineurium in the first step of the Schwann cells isolation. Here we to demonstrate the uh, uh, types of injuries according to the Sunderland classification. 
uh, if we talk about the first one, uh, which uh, uh, affected only the large uh, axons, uh, the second the type of standard land classification, which is more severe than the first one, and, we, and it is the, um, the, the type we used in the peripheral nerve injuries is type 2, which affects uh, axons, uh, uh, all the axons, but the, the connective framework is preserved. We assess the sciatic nerve regeneration by several uh, types. Uh, firstly, by behavioral assessment, electrophysiological assessment, histological assessment, immunohistochemistry, and biochemical analysis. Firstly, uh, um, we use walk track analysis, which is assembled and a non invasive technique. Uh, we use a, co a, um, a corridor, a closed corridor. We put an absorbent uh, uh, paper and we dip the uh, feet of the rats in the methylene blue to get the fingerprints of the feet and then take the measurements from the injured side and from the normal side. And, and, and put these measurements in an equation of cytic functional index. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, print uh, length finger, uh, factor, uh, which is measured from the heel, heel of the feet of the, uh, of the foot of the red to tell the third two. Factor means we subtract the normal measurement from the injured measurement to get the factor, print length factor. Then. Uh, um, two spread factor which measure measured from the first two to the fifth two then the intermediate factor which is measured from the second uh, two till the fourth two then uh, we get the cytic function index if it is zero which uh, indicates that it's the normal function we had a normal function minus 100 that is complete loss of function Secondary, electrophysiological assessment. We uh, we do we did we we did muscle action potential. We measured amplitude and latency and the nerve conduction velocity by using BioPack Acknowledge MP one hundred and fifty system. Histological assessment by hematoxylene and eosine and toledine blue to show Schwann cells nuclei. Immunohistochemistry. We use anti PRDU reaction to PRDU staining of the transplanted cells and use a counter stain H and E. Biochemical analysis. We do RT-PCR to detect the PDNF as a neurotrophic factor, mRNA expression, and uh, we detect uh, detected serum ox uh, oxidants, malondaldehyde, and antioxidant levels. Results. Start by cytotoxic function index. We do it uh, twice. Uh, firstly, at the end of the first month, and the second at the end of the second month. In the first month, we show. Improvement in the treated groups uh, regarding or in comparison to the injured group, but at the end of the at the end of uh, the second month, uh, all uh, all the groups injured and the treated groups uh, show uh, improvement in the uh, behavioral uh, assessment. Uh, this is due to the uh, spontaneous regeneration which occurs in the peripheral nerve. Nerve conduction velocity. There is great improvement in trans cells, mesenchymal, and co-transplanted uh, co groups in comparison to the injured groups. But the trans cells and co-transplanted groups uh, show uh, more great improvement than the mesenchymal group. Regarding muscle action, potential amplitude, and latency, we show the treated groups show greater improvement than the injured group, and the co-transplantation and trans, and trans cells uh, show more improvement than with common stem cells. Regarding pre-DNF as a neurotrophic factor, we show that the treated group also had a greater effect than the injured group, and trans cells and co-transplantation show more greater effect than the missing common stem cells, but the co-transplanted co group show more and more, uh, a greater, <coughs> more, and more improvement than uh, the trans cells and the missing common stem cells. For about the oxidants, oxidants and antioxidant level, we know We show that uh, the treated groups show greater improvement uh, regarding the total antioxidant and the, and the malondaldehyde effect than the injured group. 
histological results. The injured group show, in comparison to the normal group, vacular degeneration and high infiltration of the inflammatory cells in the, in the photo, in comparison to the normal group, which show regular arrangement of the axons and, uh, 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 and the, uh, the cellularity of the Schwann cells. In the treated group by benzenkaima by MCs or bone marrow benzenkaima cells, we sh show uh, uh, more improvement in the uh, uh, and uh, in the regularity of the uh, nervous uh, of the nerve tissue, and less infiltration of the inflammatory cells and less vascular degeneration shown in the photo. Schwann cells treated group, more and more improvement than the uh, mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, less uh, vascular degeneration and more uh, arrangement of the uh, neuronal tissue. A co-transplanted group show the best results, uh, little infiltration by the inflammatory cells, uh, disappearance uh, of the um, vascular degeneration, and the restoration of the regularity of the nervous tissue. Immunohistochemistry, this is, is an injured group with a negative control, which, uh, uh, doesn't, which, which didn't take, uh, take on the, the, the PRG labeled cells. And the other slide is a treated group. We show the brown, the brownish coloration, uh, brownish color is due to the PRG labeled cells. This is indication of the uh, homing of the transplanted cells into the tissue, into the site of the injury and their effect, and this improves their, the, uh, the effect of the transplanted cells in the regeneration of uh, the peripheral nerve injury. Conclusion, all treated groups showed a significant improvement in all parameters compared to the injured group. However, co-transplantation and Schwann cell treated groups showed better results compared to the bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell treated group in most parameters. Moreover, co-transplanted group <coughs> had significantly higher PDNF expression and serum antioxidant levels than Schwann cell group and showed better histological results. Regarding cytic function index showed marked improvement at the fourth week between different treated groups compared to the injured group. And thank you.